Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Giants on the streets of European cities in the 18th century. The painting by the artist Nicholas Jean Baptist Ragnet. A competition of boatmen on the river between the Bridge of Change and the Bridge of Notre Dame, view of the Bridge of Change, 1756. Looking at the figures of the standing boatmen, we see that they are at least twice the size of those sitting in the boats. The critical viewer will say that it is an allegory, so saw the author himself, far from realities, but the 17th century, and especially the 18th century, as the kingdom of Vedutists. Veduta, Italian Veduta, kind, a genre of European painting, especially popular in Venice in the 18th century. It is a painting, drawing or print with a detailed depiction of an everyday cityscape. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Pyramid of Saint Andre this ancient pyramid of Saint André, over 50 meters high and 200 meters at its base, was located northeast of Nice, dating back to 4000 BC, and was an important historical record of European civilization on the continent before the Roman Empire and the advent of Christianity. However, despite its historical importance, the pyramid was completely demolished in the 1970s, to make way for the freeway. Medals from the 1700s and the Great Northern War are full of allegory and sarcasm. One of the Swedish medals has a strange image of the symbols of Russia and Sweden. The Swedish lion overthrows the dragon, with Narva and Ivan City in the background. Suppose the Swedish lion is a long-established symbol of the country, and underneath it is the same reptile as on the Kazan coat of arms, on the flag of Tartaria, and on any image where St. George kills the serpent. Since when has Russia been represented by a dragon, and not an eagle? And who was actually defeated then? The Tsar bath was carved for seven years from a 160-ton granite boulder. Weight 48 tons, diameter 5.3 meters, height 1.9 meters. Just to give a granite block the shape of a bowl, tens of billions of blows with a mallet on a steel rod with the extension in the form of a sharply shaped spatula, were required. There were no carbide stone cutting tools in the early 1800s, and steel rods had to be sharpened after every three to four strokes. Besides, the 160-ton billet had to be dragged over the rugged terrain. In World War II, the Germans honestly admitted that despite their technical capabilities, they had no suitable equipment and vehicles to transport the ready-made tub. But at the beginning of the 19th century, they did, didn't they? Albert Fernick's 1888 photo of the Eiffel Tower is photographed in an unfamiliar way. It's not the angle, but the stone base of the tower. Of course, heavy structures and buildings need foundations or piles to keep them from sagging. 
what is now hidden from the eyes of tourists, and miraculously survived in the picture, is confusing. Stone blocks and metal supports stand on the old brick walls. The masonry and buried arches seem suspiciously familiar from previous posts about the flood and clay drifts. On the ruins of the old world, we will build a new world. Voronsov Palace in Alupka was built in the 1820s from a particularly hard stone dolerite, old name, diabase. Dolerite is such an interesting material with a hardness of 6 to 7 on the Mohs scale. To make it clear, the material of hardness 6 is taken with a file, while the hardness 7 is taken only with a diamond. You can translate into more understandable units of hardness. In other words, with what force you have to press the chisel, so that it enters the material, and can be machined. As you can see, diabase is 6 times harder than marble, 2 times harder than granite, and 62% harder than such a stubborn material as basalt. To build buildings out of it, means the same thing as to build out of diamonds. The material is so hard, that it is usually used for paving roads, such as Red Square. That it, in the early 19th century, wild serfs scraped the rock with diamond scrapers, and the Vorontsov Palace turned out. The cyclist on the wall of an ancient temple in India. The fir tree will touch a quite ordinary bas relief. You can easily recognize the cyclist on it. And everything would be fine, except that the sculptor's work is not 1,000 years old. India is famous for its ancient temples. They are not hundreds of years old, as in Europe, but thousands. They attract the attention of tourists from all over the world. One of them is called the Panchavarnaswami Temple. It was built about 2,000 years ago. On its walls, and found a Bas relief, which has attracted so much attention not only professional researchers, but also ordinary tourists and travelers. The fact is, that bicycles were invented in the 19th century. In the ancient world, they could not know about them. But what if modern historians are wrong? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.